Yes, this is my tired face. And yes, this is my happy face. <laughs> I'm both at the same time. And I just got a text from our good buddy Kevin. Captain Kevin Gill of Coastline Fishing Chattas. He's a true Aussie, good friend. And um, anyway, he's got an open spot for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the third day out of the four day snapper season this year on the Atlantic side. We are heading to New Smyrna Beach, Ponce Inlet. Today is the third day of the four day American Red Snapper season on the Atlantic side and here in Florida. Heading out to get, go fishing with our good friend, Kevin Gill. And, um, unfortunately, he only had one spot available, so Hunter isn't able to go. I can't feel bad and take him out there with him every time I can and sometimes it doesn't work out but um, I do still feel bad it's just not the same without my little buddy next to me or in the in that seat right there um, <clears throat> that's tough love that little guy I love our whole family of course but um, it's all good it's all good so we're gonna go have a good time hoping to catch one on the spinning rod today gonna see if we can't catch one flat line on it or uh, maybe even put some weight on the spinning rod and drop it straight down either way though trying to get some tug on on that rock on thanks for joining us guys love you so much it's just so much fun to share it with you hope it inspires you to get out there and uh, do something you know it doesn't have to be chase red snapper it can be chase bluegill it could be chase blue marlin just get out there enjoy the outdoors especially with a kid or a loved one just Love it up. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Yeah. Kevin. What's up, man? Dawson. Dawson. Nice to meet you. Jason. Jason, good to meet you. We had non-stop action from the very first drop. Snapper typically live on or near the bottom and it can be difficult to keep them away from that structure. In this case, we used a spinning rod with some 50 pound braid to keep them from getting to the bottom on a custom built rain shadow with SIC guides. Those SIC guides help keep the line traveling super smooth through those guides under high pressure getting these big fish up and away from structure. It's an absolute blast catching snapper on spinning tackle. You can chum them up off the bottom and often get away with lighter gear because you already have a head start when you're not starting on the bottom. The trick is getting their heads turned and don't let them make it to the bottom. If a big fish gets you in the bottom, it's game over. Here I'm using a conventional built as a spiral wrap. This is a Rain Shadow RCLB blank combined with some forecast turbo guides. The reason for using a spiral wrap is to reduce side to side twist and to maximize your straight up and down torque and pulling power. It's crucial when fighting big fish that you're not fighting your tackle. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Uh oh, another kingy. Another kingy. Need help. Oh, yeah. Kingy! I'm probably gonna get this one smoked here in a minute. <laughs> you might need you might need to back that drag off a little. It goes in that white bag there. Oh, he just caught it. He spit it. Oh, he was a horse. That was a big king. Jag was light too. Yeah, baby. Love it. Stripes, look, he's a tiger snapper. That's why I bought so That means we get an extra one, right? <laughs> it's not even a red snapper, that's a tiger snapper. Same thing with a sheep's head. Exactly. The boat over here. <laughs> he's not that big. He's just mad. He didn't even get dragged on me. Another one of them tiger snapper. Back here at the dock, had an awesome trip. Smoked the fish. Lost a couple studs as always. But well, we got color in the box. Got our limit. Had just a blessed day on the water. A little bit sloppy, but you gotta go when you can. We'll see y'all back at the cleaning table. We'll show these fish to the kiddos. Pulling up to the house. Had an awesome morning. Good time fishing with Kevin Gill and some of his good buddies. And then this good buddy right here riding shotgun with me. Check this out. Look at that. Snapper riding shoddy. Hey! What's up, Pop Pops? Hi, guys. Hi, Cam. What do you smell? Can I open it? Sure. Uh -oh. And one fish. 
<laughs> I only brought home one. I threw back a lot. Is it slimy? Slimy? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Stinky. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna eat some lunch then clean that fish. Had a killer day today. Out of Paul and Samlet, smashed some big red snapper and it got absolutely freight trying by a couple of giants. I mean, some big boys that we just couldn't stop. Now, uh, one guy had coming up and just still broke me off. But either way, got some really good ones. I mean, this is a 60 quart, was it 70 quart cooler? Yeah, 70 quart cooler. And I mean, we're still overhanging here. A big fish. The first thing I'm gonna do is this cheeks out. Cheeks right here. Oops. All right, just like on any other fish for the most part. Angle back here, up along the head. Right on down, back down. That's it, I mean there's nothing. Hear that? Look at that. That's a snapper. Big old snapper carcass. I'm telling you. These guys are strong, fast, smart, and fun. We've had a blast chasing them the last few days. Look at that filet. I mean, if that doesn't get you excited or make you hungry, Nothing will. Hi. Say hi to everybody in the camera. Hi. Come here. I don't know if they can see you. Hey, buddy. That camera. That's my fishing buddy right here. One of three, right? You, Luke, you, and Kenzie. Is that the knife case? Yes, it is. Yeah. You did. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, right? You know what we're gonna do with that? We're gonna put it in the woods by the trail camera and see what comes to eat it. So some people may say you're crazy for getting up at 3 a.m., traveling in a boat, almost 80 miles round trip for one fish. I say you're crazy for not doing it. I mean, that fish is Whoa, delicious. The experience is awesome. The memories you make. Right there. You can sit in the house any weekend, any day of the week. You see his guts? See that? That's better than home ec. That's better than school. That's better than biology. Wanna we'll cook it up for supper? <laughs> what do you think Kenzie's gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you, Dad. Love you, ton. Yeah. Yummy. Gut pile. Let's go drop it off. Yee -yee. Oh, it grew up a lot. That's some stuff right there. What's right there? This is it. I got a fresh SD card and load it in here and should be good. Should get pictures of whatever walks by. I guarantee those guts won't be there in the morning. How's that sound boy? And we got our own gut cam and that's the same thing what's on here. We dumped some, I think it was some specs. 
Found it. One over here. Good job, boys. Yeah, we dumped some specs here a while ago. And yeah. hopefully we've got pictures of some cool stuff on our SD yeah, card. Right there, right. Come on. So, you grab that again, a little bit of effort, you but man, just that. so oh. much fun. Do so much from so little just by adding a little bit to it in every little different way, right? Letting the kids clean the fish, let the cleans go to the gut pile, let the kids set up a gut can, watch the pictures with them. You know, all from one trip of fishing or hunting, you do the same thing. All those little things create memories and get them involved in the outdoors that much more. I love it. And as they get older and move away, we'll have all these pictures and videos to look back at and remember. And when we're old and laying in a nursing home or whatever, with no regret. <laughs> you okay? Big log, hold on. You okay? Oh, bumpy, bumpy. Yee yee! On the mud, Luke. We are yeah. walk in the mud and chase all this down. That came that tree, and we're walking in mud. Holy moly, look at that tree. We're not going through that right now. That's gonna take a chainsaw for real. What are we gonna do? That is a tree that had been dead for a long time, half dead, and now it finally fell over. So we're gonna back up and turn around and go out the same way we came in. Oh, wow. And it's a real ninja turtle. Oh, wow. Which one is it? Uh, it is Donatello. Donatello, wow. Yeah. Look how flat it is already. Gotta mow this place down. All right, y'all. Some afternoon festivities never ends, but we're gonna clean up real quick, get in the pool, and relax. What are we gonna eat tonight? Right, Ken's. There you go. And we did one there. Two. Wow. Two babies. One there and one there. Please don't touch the screen. Two babies. One there and one there. Hey. Don't touch the screen. Oh. Hey. This go, go, go. What is this thing? Look. There's the buck antler in velvet. You knew it? Yeah. One right here. Oh, that's probably the same deer. Let me see, Ken's. Go back. Yeah, it's only 15 minutes apart. It might be the same it looks like deer. <laughs> Do it again. See, we get a picture of him. <gasps> Yay! That's a mini dodo and bus. Mini dodos. One back and five. Hey, Dad, Dad. Wow, Kenzie, look at that doe. That's it. That's the end. Because the does are bucks. No. Because the antlers fall off. Oh, I know what you're saying. Bucks are boys and their antlers fall off and then they grow back. Does are girls and they never grow antlers. Never? Hmm. But do they grow ears? Of course they have ears, right? No, I said, do their ears grow? Mm-hmm. Does? But they don't. Mm -hmm. Not bucks. Mm -mm. I think that's it. I think we looked at all of them. All right, everybody, quick, clean, snapper. Now we're gonna cook it, all right? So I've got some avocado oil, butter. We're gonna get some all-purpose flour, make this quick and easy. 
Kenzie loves fish. She's a big helper. Camo, get down. Look at this dog. No, sir. Mm -mm. Miss Mackenzie here. That's enough. Whoa, that's way more than enough. I'm gonna dump some of this back. <laughs> back. All right, we'll roll with that. Some more than we need. Yep, salt it. That's all we're gonna do. A little salt and flour. Um, and we'll do pepper on some to taste. But I'm gonna mix this up. Yeah, just kind of stir it around nicely. You could even use the back of the spoon if you wanted. Don't make a big mess. Daddy already made a big enough one. Good job, Kenz. So, super easy. Fish, flour, salt, oil, butter, knuckleheads. Got our butter hot enough with our oil. A little bit of browning in there. Guys, if you let your butter brown just a tad, it adds delicious flavor to your food, whether it's chicken, fish, pork, whatever. Don't burn it, just a little brown. If you haven't cooked with avocado oil, give it a shot. Super good for you. It smells good, tastes delicious. And much better for you than regular like vegetable oil. So that's it. Let them fry for a few minutes. Toss them around. Look at that first flip right there. That little bit of butter helps get that fish brown. It's not like deep frying, but just enough oil and butter to make it to where it's you know, cooking well and the bubbles are licking up on the sides of the fish. You can see that flaking already. That's going to be good. So good, so quick, super easy, and everyone's gonna love it because that fish is so mild and nothing fancy to it. A lot of times with the kiddos, less is more. Literally just some salt and flour. Look at these kids, swimming like fish. They got fins yesterday. See any fish down there? We got Luke, Hunter, and Mackenzie. Life is busy, life is good. Can you watch me? Yes, baby. Go, Luke, send it. <laughs> Smell a vision. Pup vision. All right, so fish is done. We've got our cooking sheet, drying rack, whatever you want to call it. Guys, those are key to keep your fish from being soggy. Look at that falling apart. Look at that. Oh, deliciousness. In the last few years, we've been cooking so much fish and deer and hog and gator, just eating on the fly. It never sits in the freezer. Always trying new recipes, but simple stuff. We can just whip up quick and easy. Tastes good. We don't eat much fast food, but we do cook a lot of fast meals. There it is, delicious. Round two cooking, customer number one, right here. What do you think, Luke? Mm. <laughs> you know it's good when a three-year-old get out of the pool to eat it. A little bite, a little warm. Hot, sorry. Fresh off the fryer. Huh? Again? This guy's a champ. Come on, buddy, it's hot. You love fish, Bobby? <laughs> I love you, son. Got it? <laughs> hot? You need a hot bite? I thought that piece was the coolest one. Is it hot? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> hey 
Thanks so much for watching this video. Had a blast catching those snapper. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so when more videos come out, you get notified. We have all kinds of good stuff coming to you. Please tell your friends. Love y'all. Have a great night. God bless.